Hello guys, with Jagunstar here. Uh, how's it going? Today I want to make a video about how to allocate memory page um, for like uh, change some uh, values how you want to. Um, I only figured, uh, to be honest, I only um, kind of learned about this a few days ago because uh, in all my time that I was using Game Guardian, um, I guess I re never really needed it. Um, I also then knew about it to be honest like I saw it in the game guardian future but I I just never know how to use it or for what to use it because I didn't understand it but uh, I guess it kind of changed when you learn about pointers because then it kind of makes sense totally and then it kind of seems useful I mean useful in my understanding uh, for what I do but um, allocating memory page has a lot of different uh, use. Um, I think it's for sure useful if you have a background in modding. Uh, then I think you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can write your own assembly uh, with it, so it's very useful. But in my case, uh, since I'm no modder either to begin with, um, I'm just gonna show a small introduction how it is useful um, to me um, for simple stuff, but there's a lot of other stuff it's useful for me but uh, now this is just a small demonstration to just get the concept of it uh, the stuff has been like this mem uh, this allocating memory page uh, future has been out for a while already um, <laughs> we kind of laid with it but well here we are now um, so let's say I want to change this nickname Honestly, I only started to use it after there was this request on the Game Guardian forum about this one guy and he wanted to change his nickname. Uh, but the problem was that if you change your nickname, you cannot change the length. You can change the characters, but you cannot change the length of the string of your name. So if you only have 10 characters and you change it, you will still have only 10 characters. So you can never really fully input. So this is where memory allocation comes to place because I show you. So I search this name. Uh, let me see. So I'm just gonna disable all the other regions. This is just a, a test game, you know. Nothing uh, serious, just for show. So um, normally string names um, are usually in UTF-16. So O A Q D N S K T V V. So here we go. Um, so I search the first character. So that's eighty. Also P. So I search eighty. For refine, I have two results. So um, always if you are searching for a string name, um, the length of the string, so the length of the name um, is always four bytes uh, below the first character of your name. So the letter P, so it's always four bytes below. So you can just do like this. So you can see the length is 17. There are 17 characters in this name, so a space also counts as a character, by the way, just so you know. Um, and then uh, 10 bytes, I mean, if you are on 64-bit, uh, if you are using 64-bit APK, then it's 10 byte. If you are using 32-bit uh, APK, it's 8 byte. okay? I'm using 64, so it's 10 bytes for me. You change to quart, because I'm on 64. If you're on 32, you use dwarf and you do minus 10 and then you have your pointers so um, just I, I, I just need to check if I have the right name uh, to be honest I just do like this so if you change the length to zero um, you're basically not gonna have any characters uh, displayed so look all the characters are gone because um, the length is put to zero so yeah this is the right value uh, so I can remove the other I can remove these and work with this. So, um, so what I want to do now, I can change this back. So the problem is that if I want to change my name, so I go to the address here. Uh, let's let's just uh, do plus four. 
so that you know that it is the start okay. so if I want to you here you can see my name right but if I want to change my name and make like way longer like I, I almost want to make it a sentence like play your name uh, iPhone 6 uh, 495 it's not gonna fit here you know because it's too long you know but I only have I only have this amount of space to work with uh, from from start to finish I only have this amount to work with I can even use this but as soon as I reach the pointer here I'm gonna mess up and maybe the game is gonna crash because this pointer is maybe very important so I don't want to change that so in order for our name to change and make it as long as possible as long as we want to we must uh, we must allocate a new memory page where we can basically um, set, uh, set our name as long as we want to so uh, what we do is we use this beautiful feature here um, and we do uh, allocate memory page and we use maybe written so if we take maybe written it means that we can edit our values and that new allocated page okay so and yeah, you can just game guardian is gonna assign you an address automatically so you can just uh, press go to and look now we have a new memory page that's uh, that's been allocated so this wasn't here before uh, so because we use this future a new page has been made uh, oops so we save it and so if we look at the structure um, if we look at the structure of our uh, of how our string works so here is our pointer okay this is a pointer that points to another class uh, that's for a string so the class name is string so I'm just gonna go back this pointer is really important because um, you don't want to mess that up you don't want to like have a string name here without that pointer so what we do first is so we have to copy uh, basically a part of the data to the new allocated memory page yeah that's also something i recently learned to be honest uh, copying memory data uh, it's really it's really funny to be honest because it's just that i never uh, thought i would need to use it uh, so i never looked at those futures uh, it's always good to i guess that when there's an update on game guardian that you try to check out all the futures and watch the game guardian tutorials uh, because really this is so fucking powerful uh to be honest this is really powerful uh but yeah let's uh, let's continue uh so yeah so the data we want to copy uh to the new allocated memory page is basically this so we need the pointer then uh, because it's 64 bit we need uh we need the full offsets we need to like the full data from 0 to um 10 uh so we also copy um the 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 length the value that represent the length of the of our nickname the length of our string right so in total let's do offset calculation so offset is 10 so um 10 hex so now what we do is we copy this address because this is where we start copy the address and we also copy the address of our of the start of our allocated memory copy the address and now we use the this future here this beautiful future so copy memory so we copy from uh this address the one we first copied where we have our pointer and like our string name and we copy it to um, the first address of our new allocated memory page and bytes the count of bytes so um, the offset was 10 so 10 and uh, 10 from hex to decim to decimal is like 16 so um, we actually have to do 17 because it counts from uh, one two three four you know you're not counting in hacks or something you're not counting um, offsets because offsets is from zero to blah you know uh, but uh, each 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 value with um, each each byte we we copy uh, as a as a, like the first byte we copy as one you know it's not zero so it's 17 and not 16 so we copy it 
and so now the data here this data from here to here has been copied to this place here so one two three four so you see now this is the same first this was all zero and now um, it has been uh, copied um, and basically replaced with uh, with the original with the previous data so um, step one is completed um, so now uh, we can change this to quart now it all comes down to pointers um, so what we have to do is basically our, or, um, our original pointer uh, you know where was our string name and everything you know uh, we need to do a pointer search and we need to redirect all the values uh, that hold this address all the addresses that hold um, this address as a value um, we must change that value to this address because here our new information will be what we first can do though is like we can finally set a string name here so what we can do is um we can go actually online to some browser uh let me see we go to the browser uh, so that we can do the right uh, conversion um, and know how long our characters are you can also do this in a script there yeah, but just for the tutorial purpose so we just search on google uh, character count uh so we'll just uh yeah here we have a site so it just counts the amount of characters um the name you want to give uh, will have uh so i, I just search like this name is quite long so it has 23 characters in total so what we do basically is we go back to game garden we go back so we change um so in the new allocated memory page uh you know here uh we change the length instead of 17 we change it to 23 because that's going to be the length of our of our string name uh and then yeah and then all we have to do is basically um since it's utf 16 we need multiply so 23 will become uh, 64. Uh, so we can save it and then here so 64 we copy word so yeah 64 uh, but not hex you just do uh, because it's decimal this one so yeah 64 and then yeah here that's like an offset of 2e so then what we do is just um you copy both addresses copy address copy the address then we can use like a then we can use like a filter here one moment yeah so uh yeah here so yeah this is basically filtering the result it's not removing them it's just filtering so yeah here we go we have adwords or maybe it does all has to be in byte Let's see again. Yeah, apparently. Uh, so here. Voila. So yeah, now we changed our now we changed the name. Uh, so that's done. So now if we go back here. Uh, one moment. So now if we go here. Let's send it to Dwart again. Right. So yeah, now you can see that our name is fully here. This name is quite long, and that's the end of it. So yeah, we basically we we finished um, uh, basically we finished um, the data of our allocated memory. And so now, the only thing that we have to do still is I can remove this. They're not this is not useful anymore. Uh, so the only thing we now need to do is set all the pointers um equal to the new allocated memory page so let's remove this uh yeah that was our original uh pointer you know with uh, all the data uh so we do pointer search 
and now we copy the address this one and we change it put H and now our name changed here and our name uh, has uh, basically the length we wanted to uh, without any issue so whenever uh, let's say like if you have always changing data uh, or changing uh, information you can always like uh, how I say you can always use already a static um, memory uh, part that is static that doesn't change all the time and you can just set the pointers always equal to that static memory so if I would go in a match or something um, I wouldn't have any crash because every data is properly copied without any problem uh, so this data is totally useless now we don't need it anymore you can see uh, that of the one that didn't change then I would say let's see because the other players they cannot have this name so long you know but uh, for for me now it's not an issue so So this pointer is relevant, the others aren't that relevant, really. Um, so yeah, you see, um, it's perfect, you know. This one is now pointing to this address, so it's totally fine. And we properly uh, copy the data, so, you know, and we have all this space here. See, it's just great. So, can play the game without any problems. Yeah, that's up. Uh, you can use um, yeah, you can use allocation for way more stuff. Uh, like I said, you can write your own assembly. Um, I think you, I think for modding, it's also very useful. Um, it's useful in many ways. Um, you just have to know your game um, that you're trying to do stuff on, and the rest is up to you. You you will be fine. You can I can already imagine uh, <laughs> the power of this. To be honest it's a it's a lot uh so either guys uh, have a nice day and uh, take care guys right